Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Free Flight Systems Equipit 2020 reduces ADSB cost. The Valdez STOL aircraft are coming back to Air Venture. And the Russians allow Ukrainian female pilot prisoner to see Ukrainian doctors. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. Well, it looks like the price war for ADSB systems is heating up. Free Flight Systems has launched Equipit 2020, which is a program to provide ADSB equipment for general aviation aircraft that breaks the $2,000 barrier for a basic but complete system. Equipit 2020 features the product line Ranger Lite in two configurations, an ADSB out system list priced at $1,995 and an ADSB in out system for $3,695. Free Flight Systems is committing to build 10,000 of these systems in an effort to reduce costs to the GA community and is offering them through participating dealers. Both systems come complete with a built-in WASP GPS and include ADSB and GPS antennas an install kit, control head, and or Wi-Fi module if needed. Free Flight Systems is part of the ongoing Equip 2020 Working Group, which has brought together the industry, users, and the FAA to address the actions necessary to ensure the entire U.S. fleet is ready to go with ADSB on time. The folks at EAA AirVenture continue to put out teasers regarding this year's events, and this is a good one. One of the best shows in town last year at Air Venture was the Valdez Short Takeoff and Landing Competition. It takes place in the ultralight area of the Air Venture grounds, where the grass is green and so is the runway. It's a great place to hang out and watch the show. Now EAA tells us it's happening again. The specially modified STOL aircraft that compete at the annual Valdez Alaska Fly-In and Air Show each May. This year, more than a dozen of them will demonstrate their unique capabilities along with the skills of their pilots at AirVenture. The STOL aircraft, including home-built and specially modified production airplanes, will participate. They're based on aircraft that provide supplies to the rugged and far-flung outpost throughout Alaska. It's important to remember that this event is not part of the regular afternoon air shows, so plan your schedule and don't miss it. After the break, a Ukrainian female helicopter pilot is being held by the Russians. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. While the Russians continue to say that they have no direct involvement, and the war between the Ukrainian government and the separatists, they've been holding a female Ukrainian helicopter pilot in a Moscow prison for nine months. Nadia Savchenko has been charged with being involved in the deaths of two Russian journalists in a motor attack during fighting in eastern Ukraine. She's denied the charges, saying that she'd been kidnapped and taken to the Russian capital. It's reported she staged a hunger strike that lasted more than 80 days, before her health severely deteriorated. An arrangement was finally made recently to allow her to be seen for the first time by Ukrainian doctors. It's reported that a website posting says her condition is satisfactory, 
but that she should be under close medical supervision in a hospital. With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, it's fun to look back and enjoy the places we've seen, the pilots we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Well, this airplane is a elite velocity. How did I get involved with it? Well, a good friend of mine, Joe Schiffero, I didn't know him at the time, but I went and was interested in building one of the velocities, and then I went out to Watertown, and uh, we got to talking and started helping him build the airplane, started helped him, helping him through it, and I ordered my kit, and I started building mine. The aircraft home building community is large and growing. In this video, we go back a few years as some builders tell us why home building an airplane was their choice. Search the why of home built aircraft on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, Bombardier takes orders for its CS100 aircraft. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro standby instrument, TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we've summarized some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Pack. Bombardier announces a purchase order for 20 of its C-Series CS-100 aircraft from the new Malaysian-based Fly Moho Airlines. In addition to the 20 orders, the airline also has options for an additional 20 CS-100s. The first Italian F-35A Lightning II has rolled out of the Camry Final Assembly Facility, marking the first F-35A assembled internationally. The aircraft, designated as AL-1, will now proceed to additional checkout activities before its first flight later this year. The Chihuahuas are flying. Virgin America is assisting the city of San Francisco's animal care and control by flying Chihuahua pups from San Francisco to the New York area. Chihuahua overpopulation in California forces animal shelters to head east for adoption. Aerojet Rocketdyne recently completed a successful series of hot fire tests of key 3D printed components for its AR-1 booster engine. They say the testing of the main injector elements represents an important milestone in the development of the engine. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. Here's some good news for users of the Avplan electronic flight bag. Jeppesen has teamed with Avplan to integrate Avplan EFB flight planning capabilities with Jeppesen navigation information. This means that completed flight plans will be available to be entered into the Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck EFB solution on iPad. This combination of Jeppesen's charting and navigation data with Avplan EFB flight plan information together simplifies pre-flight preparation for pilots using both Jeppesen and Avplan EFB services. This means that completed flight plans will be able to be entered into the Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck EFB solution on iPad. This combination of Jeppesen's charting and navigation data with Avplan EFB flight plan information together simplifies pre-flight preparation for pilots using both Jeppesen and Avplan EFB services. Flight plans developed through Avplan EFB 
will soon be able to be exported into Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck. From there, the complete flight plan will be loaded and instrument procedures for airports will be linked to the entered flight plan. And so the use of the electronic flight bag expands. Well, that's our program for Wednesday, March 18th. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember, Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.